How to graft a tree. If you like a tree's fruit and want more of it, your best option may be grafting. This is the only way to guarantee the fruit will come out the same. There are various ways to graft, but with practice and these instructions, you can master the technique that's best for you. Using tea budding. Choose your cultivar and your rootstock. In order for your budding to be successful, you must cut a cyan small piece for grafting from a healthy, disease-free cultivar origin tree as well as a suitable growing tree rootstock. The rootstock in this case is an established tree that the cyan can be spliced into. For tea budding, the bark of both trees must be slipping. This means the bark is easily peeled off and the green layer underneath is moist, which usually occurs in the spring. Try irrigating them well to help them along. Tea budding is typically used for fruit tree propagation. Cut a cyan. For tea budding, you must cut into the branch. Make a tea cut on your rootstock. Choose a space on a branch or sapling that is. Introduce the cyan. Slip the cyan containing the bud under the flaps you've just created on the rootstock, taking care not to introduce any dirt or germs. If part of the cyan's bark sticks out above the tea cut, slice it off so that everything fits together snugly. Tie the cyan to the rootstock. Wrap a stretchy rubber material such as grafting rubber around the rootstock to hold the cyan in place. Be careful not to jostle or cover the bud. Remove the tie. In about a month, the rubber you wrapped around the rootstock may loosen and fall off. If it doesn't, gently remove it yourself so that the area will not be constricted. Follow up on your bud. If the bud looks plump and healthy, it is probably alive. If it looks shriveled, then it has died and you'll have to start again. Remove other material. The next spring, once the bud has begun to sprout leaves, make a sloped cut. 